Uh, hello, subscribers and future subscribers. I am Karma Jolt. This game is Shadowrun Returns, and we're about to continue playing it. Um, <clears throat> so last we left off, I think, I think we discovered the true identity of the Emerald City Ripper, who happens to be the guy who killed the dude uh, who asked us to find who killed him. So here we are at this hopsicle, and here is a receptionist. Welcome, ma'am. What business, what business brings you to Mercy Mental Hospital? Oh, you know, just mentally unstable. Ah, a new customer. Please wait in the common room up ahead. I'll notify the good doctor. Oh, can't wait in the nobles room. New objective, look around. Well, I'm seeing things. Please stay within the cafeteria. Nope, see ya. Uh, that door looks like it's locked, as far as I can tell from here. There also seems to be something I can mess with. It's an automated medication dispensary. It doesn't recognize you, so no nothing happens. Well, allow me to introduce myself. Um... Well, this is clearly Lorraine. I can tell by looking at her. It probably says Lorraine on the back of her jersey. Hey, lady, have you seen Josie? I don't think so. I know, right? I haven't seen him in days. Wait, Josie is a him? Plot twist. Dr. Phillips told me not to worry about it. He says I worry too much. But who am I supposed to play chess with? Donnie over there can't sus more than match four. <clears throat> I don't know what that means. What's so important about this Josie character? I'm gonna say Josie sounds like quite a guy. What he what he looks like? Well, he's big and he's got a big gold ring. The doctors let him keep it when he got here. Sometimes he lords it over us, but I'm sure if I had a ring like that, I would do the same. He says he wanted playing for the Screamers in Super Brawl years back. <laughs> Urban Brawl, huh? That's a rough profession. I'll say it. Not too rough for Josie. He says he went whole seasons without any injuries. He was usually playing Outrider, though. <clears throat> oh, okay. Like, he's basically the kicker of the team. Will you at least help me look for him? I have this key I swiped off the day guard. But they keep a close eye on us. You could have a peek in the infirmary and see if there's a record or something. He might just be in a cool-off room and they won't tell me. I'll see if I can find something. No promises. I'll say that one. Okay, I'll be right here if you do. I'll talk to Donnie. <clears throat> Hello, stranger. You look new here. Are you new here? Yeah, that's that's definitely... They meant to, they meant to say that that's Meowth. I'm Bento Box. Who are you? Name's Donnie. That's my name. Donnie. <laughs> D-O-N-N-Y. <laughs> it reminds me of... Um, of uh, Fred Fredberger from from uh, Grim and Mandy, Billy and Man Billy and Mandy. That's the thing, right? Is that what it was called? I don't know. I didn't watch it too much, but there was that one character named Fred Fredberger. I knew I didn't recognize you. I know everybody in this place. Everybody will. Everybody on the first two floors. Anyone I should look out for? Donnie. I'm definitely not going to call him Don. He'd be like, "Ugh, my name's Donnie." No, not on this floor. Only us calm ones are allowed up in the cafeteria. If you're violent, you have to eat in your room. Uh, I'm looking for Dr. Holmes. His face blanches. I don't think you really want that. Not really. What's that supposed to mean? Around here, you don't want to attract the attention of the doctor. If you stay quiet, life is much easier. Much easier. I'm doing a health and safety check for the corporate office. All right, I'll try saying that. Well, you don't want to talk to me. I don't like here. I'm not crazy enough for that. I should go. Asking why. Thelonious? Oh, wait, that's a person on my team. Right, that happened. 
Alright, well, I'm just gonna run conspicuously through this door that was definitely locked and I shouldn't have access to. The stench of blood and mold gets even stronger as you move closer to the infirmary. Okay. I... That looks like an arm. But I'm gonna check this computer first, because that's interesting to me. The patient information for Josiah C. Dawson is open on the cyber terminal. Read the medical history. Date of birth, 7-18-2015. That was less than a year ago. Oh wait, no, more than a year ago, because it's July, not September. What am I thinking? Occupation, retired. Uh, medications, alprazolam, rabexetine, reasons for stay, post-traumatic stress disorder, status deceased. Oh shit, he was clearly allergic to being deceased too, and they didn't, they didn't mark it. Um, so, that, oh, that was the medical history, what are the attached notes? Patient had undocumented cyberware in the left arm, as well as multiple, multiple pieces of shrapnel in various locations. I wonder if that's like illegal in uh, in in the Super Brawl League or whatever it is. Um, probably not. Shrapnel. Okay, complications would likely arise if transported to another host. Host. The rest of the body is in excellent condition and can be used to improve other subjects. Am I reading that right? I've only I've only ever, am I pronouncing that right? As well as <laughs> sorry. As well as fulfill some custom requests. So he was scrapped for parts. Walk away. Don't do it. Um, a severed arm lies next to the zipped body bag. The arm looks human and appears neatly severed at the elbow. There's a large gold ring on the index finger. Its owner is probably the occupant of the body bag. I have me a super brawl ring from 2048. Uh Dude was 33 when he run when he won the Super Brawl. If you you slip the heavy ring off the cold finger and feel its weight in your hands inside is an engraving. Screamer's 2048, baby. World champs. The surgical cart is strewn with gruesome tools, motorized saws and metal vices. You find an unlabeled trivid disc. You have no way of playing back the disc at this time. I bet this computer can do it. Never mind, it cannot. Uh, maybe that's like a video thing that can only be played on a TV thing. Well, sorry about your friend, he's pretty dead. But what do I tell this mental patient? Uh, I'm not sure how to put this. What? Tell me. Did he get released? He's a cor- Because he's a corpsicle, okay? Well, it looks like Josie's gonna be playing that super ball- Super brawl in the sky from now on. No, that's a stupid metaphor. Hey, you can have this ring. You mean he- Oh god. Well, thanks for your help. The noise of a scratchy PA system blasts through the room. Attention bento box, please report to the North Hall to meet with the administrator. Karma gained two. Uh, I wonder if I have enough karma to spend on anything. It looks like I have three. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stash it for now. I'm gonna shelf it, so to speak. New objective, speak to Dr. Holmes. Oh, 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 so here's this PA system. I know that face. The elf standing before you may quite possibly be the ugliest elf you've ever seen. Again, his meticulously clean lab coat, format jacket. Format? Does it say format or formal? I think it's supposed to say formal. An old-fashioned bow tie give him the look of an undertaker from centuries past. As you approach the window, he locks eyes with you, smiling a thin, unnerving smile. Good day to you. How can I help you? Uh, you Holmes or Silas, whatever you're calling yourself at the moment. Dr. Holmes, I pre presume. 
You're a hard man to reach, especially considering you're dead. I'm sorry, who's dead? He acts genuinely confused, but he can't seem to drop the smile from his lips. <clears throat> All right, if that's how you want to play it, Dr. Holmes. I have reason to believe you're involved in the Emerald City Ripper killings. Man, these are long dialogue options. It was a good racket you had going here, but you got sloppy with your kills, and now the Ripper's trail leads you leads straight to your door. All right, I'll go that one. The only trail I see is the one that you have left in your own way. In fact, I believe the Ripper may be standing right in front of me. Guards! Karma gained dose! See ya! That's what he was like. Okay, yeah, walk by all of my- On the ground now! Uh, says the one guy with the pistol to the four people with lots of guns and stuff. Also haste! You know what? Just for shits, I'm gonna haste myself. I'm gonna have Shannon Half's guy haste herself more accurately. Then I will a mana bolt. Kapow! Weak! That's right, that dude's weak. Um. Oh yeah, I got a bitchin' new SMG. And I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna waste it on this chump! Damn, I did 20 damage. Well, what does this lady do again? Blindness? I guess she earned a new spell. Damage 20? Hell yeah, I'm gonna waste this fireball. Never... Yeah, okay. Well, I did waste it. I... I exactly wasted it. Waste it is exactly what I did. Um... Is there anyone else around? Can I go through a door? Uh... Oh, there's a thing on the ground. Picked. You picked item. Uh... I'm gonna end the turn. And I'm gonna have my mage stand right in the front line. Uh-oh, there's a... There's a scary wheelchair. Um, okay, so I can get in here with one action and light up this hopsicle guard. Okay, I did a bunch of damage there. I couldn't see how much. It looked like I did 25 damage, which is fine by me. Uh, I'm gonna have her just run all the way in. Meanwhile, Shannon half guy is gonna stand right up against this wall because that will allow me some cover. Uh, and then she will harm someone. No. I guess she has bullet. Bop! Oh, that works. Good shot. S-H-S. Um, which way can I go? That looks like something I don't want to mess with. That looks like the Wu-Tang Clan. The nearby intercom speakers crackle to life. The voice of Dr. Holmes begins to blare from it. Attention all the personnel! We have a dangerous patient loose inside the facility. Subject is a female elf, but maybe coordinating with other violent offenders. I don't know, didn't get a good look at the three other people standing right next to her. Use all necessary force. Which, by the way, includes kicking. Uh, can I fucks with this dope? This character will exit the scene. Well, it's good to be seen ya around. Sorry. Confirm. Alright. I just jumped up the elevator. I jumped up it. Halls of disrepair. As you venture deeper into the asylum, you see that the inside is every bit as bad as the outside. Because the outside was made of bricks, and it was awful, and it was cold and rainy. Gone is any attempt to uphold sanitary hospital aesthetics with peeling paint, probably lead-based, cracked flows, and exposed conduit. The pretense of mental care is shattered. In this modern era, Mercy Mental Hospital is just like uh, previous eras, I would say. If you uh, know anything about old mental hospitals, like back in the day, they were basically prisons. Anyway, it's a throwback to the barbaric asylums of old. Oh, that is exactly what it was saying. Okay. Prisons and torture chambers rather than places of healing. It's clear that Dr. Holmes is spending his money on something other than this facility. If you continue on, Holmes can only run so far. Well, that sounds pretty far. That's not very specific. He can run so far. Ah, now we've got him in that case. So stay back. Who, who opened the cells? They'll kill us all. 
Violent patient. Um, that's weird. So, who is this guy? Well, it's time for some haste, if you axed me. Oh, did I just... Okay, yeah, I meant to haste Bento Box. I blew my cover by hasting myself. I guess it makes noise to do that. Um... Okay, so... I can, I can switch SMGs. I'll get slight cover behind this knee-high box. And you'll see. Watch me flamethrower this guy. Whoa, 40 damage? It finally did something useful. Um, should I... I feel like I shouldn't mess with that guy. Because he's just a poor hospital patient. The intercom begins speaking as soon as you approach. Holmes must be watching from somewhere. You don't understand, do you? This is a place for broken things, but only by further breaking them can they be remade. And so we must break you. I really don't feel like that's necessary. Uh, alright, see ya, dude. I'm gonna run so slowly. <clears throat> wow, look at me casually sauntering. Uh-oh. I feel like I went to the wrong place. I feel like I sidled up against the wrong wall. So to speak. Well, I'm Shannon half out of here is more like it. I don't know why I said that. Ha! I'm a mental patient. That wasn't funny. Why did I say that? Okay, so... So these are... Okay, those are patients. Do I kill them? I don't know. I mean, I feel like I shouldn't. Um... Well, what's in here? More mental patients. I figured there might be an item in here. But at this point, I should probably just keep running down this hallway. As far and as fastly as I can. Um, well. Wait, what was her name again? Hidden Fancy, yes, and Felonius. Uh, okay. Yeah, alright, I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna run because. Damn, they can run so fast, though. That's unfair. Wait, does she have a gun? Who gave this mental patient a gun? Probably the guy I'm trying to kill. I'm just guessing. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna bear toad him before I run. Because I have sustained injury. Plus I have haste so I can run pretty fast. And pretty a lot. Ex-surgeon. Uh, I'm gonna assume that get, that this ex-surgeon has been accountable for his horrible actions and that he committed some terrible crimes and therefore he should um, be shot in the kneecap. Or not at all. Or not in the kneecap is more like it. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, he shot back, not like we shot first or anything, but that's definitely a sign that I should harm him. Nice miss, unstable mental patient, number one. Oh, jeez, what do I do about them? Uh, well, first, I hate doctors. Do I still have... No. I have to reload if I wanted to shoot my big gun. I wonder if I have an AoE spell. Looks like I don't. Uh, but I have a runaway spell. I really don't feel like I should harm these mental patients. I don't know if it actually has any bearing on the game. See ya! Um... But I feel like it's something I shouldn't do. So I'm just gonna keep ruining away. 
What was your action there? It made a lot of sense. Not the, I guess not that I can expect them to make any sense. Ooh, shiny object. Surgical cart contains a gate key. Pi shall open the portal. Uh, well, where's... The smell of rotting flesh is immense. The remains appear to be from multiple metal metal humans. Did I not take the gate key? Do I have to kill these people to get out of combat? I'm gonna try one more time. There's an unlabeled trivid disc in the second drawer. Am I cornered here? I believe I might be. Well, you knew this was coming. Where's Shannon Half Sky? Oh, she's right in the middle of literally everything. So I'm gonna haste Hidden Fancy. No, I won't. I won't do that is what I will do. I won't do that is what I will do. Um, this is bad. Uh, cast my harming ability and then run. Well, I guess I gotta slaughter all these innocent people who aren't so innocent because, you know, they're trying to stab me. Uh, do I have the spray and pray ability? So how does that work? Two attacks with less chance of a turtle may hit adjacent characters use six bullets. Uh, I'm gonna see... Alright, let's see if I can do this. It didn't hit adjacent characters. But it critted, I guess. That's something. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna firebolt this big dude. Big dude? I meant full health dude. That's what I meant by that. Wow, never mind. I'm gonna do none of that, and I'm gonna miss a lot. I'm gonna kneecap this fool here. And then I'm gonna regular shoot. Uh, that guy's got 9 HP. I think this can take him out here. Oh no! I clicked on the wrong one. That's okay. Shannon half sky is gonna make this guy half dead. Or fully dead. Wow, double kill for Shannon half sky. Doing the thing she's not even all that good at, which is using bullets. Um, I will heal wound. I'll heal wound on self. Guess we got 6 HP back, bitches. I mean, sirs and or madams. Yep, just slaughtering all these mental patients. Certainly feel proud of myself for that. But I don't know if I have a choice. If I did have a choice... Um, if I did have a choice, I would have done something else. I could have sworn Shannon Half's guy had some sort of healing ability. So is there an enemy still left here? Out of ammo. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay, I should reload everything. Um, does she have a healing spell? Nope. Uh, well, I might as well reload my stuff, I guess. And I guess, uh, okay, so I did find a key or something, correct? So maybe there's a door I can open now. I don't know, I'm just guessing. All right, let's see what's up with this bear totem. Oh, can I heal everyone in my party? Do it, son. Wow, look at that HP plus. It's 18. If you couldn't add all that numbers, I'm helping you out for you. Hi, by the way, thanks for watching my videos. Uh, really appreciate it, guys. And gals. Um, but I'm only saying that because I have nothing to s say at this point. Okay, somebody either shot a gun, or like, dropped the refrigerator. 
Um, did she open this door over here? Oh, what's going on over here? Are they fighting each other? I think that human or something with the gun is trying to harm the man who may or may not be attacking him. Uh, yep, just gonna run right through this doorway, because that's safe. Whoa! That seems like a person I don't want to like. My sentences are good today. From another intercom, Dr. Combs, Dr. Combs continues. Someone once told me that I was a broken thing, but he also said I could remake myself. He wanted to break me down so I could put myself back together. Well, you gotta break down to break up, uh, so to speak. It was like a House of Pain lyric, right? And I did, but only after I broke him. I could remake you as well. What wonderfully twisted thoughts must churn in a mind such as yours, but I'm more inclined to use you for parts. Is this the same guy? No, that is Crazed Patient with Gun. Um, he's got 50 HP, so I think, I think I'm gonna reduce his armor. Can I... Do I not have the range for that? Oh, I meant to hit weaken armor, not armor. Yeah, there we go. Armor stripped. So... So here's the, the obvious plan. I'm gonna have Hidden Fancy run right up to this guy and shotgun blast from point blank. Should I kneecap? I probably should. Okay, I'll do it. Bang. 1.5 minus 2 AP. Alright, so that was pretty good. Well, might as well reload the good gun. I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place. But then I'm gonna use the one that's less... Oh, shit. I was using the wrong ability. My B. Fireball. 20 damage and he's still asleep? Check this out, Shannon Half, got, Half Sky is gonna get all the kills this round. Line of sight blocked! By what, a friend? I don't care. Use piercing damage or something. Um, well here's a door, not enough AP. Definitely can't open that door. Hospital Securitai. I'm gonna get so close. And then I'm gonna, ooh, should I kill the doctor? <laughs> doctor whom, though? Pop. <laughs> yeah, never mind the person who just shot me. I'm gonna shoot through this doorway. Whoa, that doctor has a bat? Or a, maybe a machete? I can't really tell. I could have planned this battle out a little better. But instead, I'm doing the thing that makes it less good. Why do I keep talking? I should just play and not ruin it by saying things that you ain't trying to hear. Um. Well, that guy is dead and on the flow. Not much else to say except that I'm shooting people. Which, you know, is just an everyday thing in this country. Look, maybe I shouldn't have said that, but it's like fucking true. And it sucks. That's politics. Uh, well, I'm gonna harm this man. Wow! He died from a weak hit. I wonder what his mother would say about that. Not enough AP. Uh, well. Let's see if I just end. I can mess with this little thingy over here. By all means, come. You have proven yourself a truly fine specimen. I think of a hundred uses for one such as you. Uh, the Trivid video holds a collection of personal diaries. Some of the video files are missing. Oh, wow. Okay, so these... Let's hear it. Got some cutout chips in last week. Tried them out on the patients with violent flashbacks, hoping it would at least mellow them out some. I don't know what that means. It was like night and day. Once the chip was installed, all of their psychotic break triggers were blocked. Miss, Miss Yuskin has gone four days without attacking the staff or herself. Okay. 
In today's interview, Mrs. Yeskin told me she hated her legs. They said they were she said they were stumpy, unattractive. I have done a transplant haven't done a transplant in years, but I offered to give her new legs. Her face lit up like it was Christmas. At least her cutout can block out the surgery and painful recovery process. Process. I put in an order to the organ grinders to send me anything leggy. Maybe I'll get some elf legs and see how she likes them. Weird! I was talking to the organ grinders downtown, and there was some kind of event happening at Mega Media. They had a puppet there from Maria Mercurial's label with a Persona Fix chip installed, making her an exact doppelganger. They were just using her to hawk some SimSense re-release of a Mercurial live show, but it gave me an idea. The cutouts, the body modifications, and my healthy supply of patients, I'm perfectly set up to be a Bunraku fixer. If I can find a supplier for a Persona Fix, for Persona Fix chips, I can sell full service Bunraku, even program the behavior trees. So he made slaves. That's what he did. Playback video number 81. Found a buyer for the first Bunraku. A man in the Barrens offered me 20,000 for the female troll I've been modifying. He likes them big, he says, and that's. Specifically, they're sex slaves, is what they are. All that's left is to arrange delivery. He says he can put me in touch with some more buyers if I'll accommodate special orders. Holy shit, these morons' lives are already over anyway. The least they could do is line my pockets. That's terrible, but I... I mean, I guess that's to be expected from someone who is a serial killer. Then again... You know, there are all those documentaries about serial killers and everyone's like, he seemed like such a normal guy. Which is kind of weird to think about, because like, if, yeah, he seemed like a fucking serial killer, someone would have caught them before they became a serial killer, don't you think? Anyway, the Emerald City Ripper. Before you is a medical lab turned torture chamber. The smell of old blood and decayed flesh permeates the room. Gory stains speak of the body's fluids spilled without regard for well-being or hygiene. There are bodies, probably former patients, trapped in hideous machines enduring horrific experiments. The subjects you can see all appear dead. Any that aren't must wish they were. You've chased Holmes to his lair just as his face reveals an ugly soul, so does his safe haven, it would seem. Holmes, Silas, the Emerald City Ripper. The elf is a monster beyond compare. It's time to end this. Beyond compare might be a stretch because it's not that no one's ever been a serial killer before. Well, I'm just gonna run in and get cover. Another intercom crackles at your elbow. One solid blow would offer a few moments of blessed silence, but this is also a rare chance to get a word in with a good doctor, who greets you with more of his chittering laughter. You're a persistent one! Yeah! <laughs> Like Papyrus. No, I don't want to compare Papyrus to this guy. A fine specimen indeed. We both know how this ends, so let's get to it already. I'll say that. Patience! Patience. Haha. <laughs> We're not done yet. I have one last examination to conduct. Pitazel! Pitezel! Subdue them. Pi! Pitezel? I don't know who that is, but it sounds friendly. Run faster! Oh, by the way, these little circles on the ground are ley lines, and I believe, um... I believe the magician gets, like, extra power when... 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 she is standing on a ley line. Oh, that's the thing they were talking about. 52% chance to hit? Oh, because I'm using a shotgun, I guess. I'll hit the mage. Dang, 1.5x? I ain't afraid of this guy. Oh, crap. I am, actually, because he does a lot of damage. And he lowers my AP. Should I, should I try this? Should I do the summon thing? Not enough AP. I won't do it. Instead, I will do something else. Uh, okay, so here's what I want to do first. 
So I'm gonna stand on this ley line and see if it does anything for me. Uh, I'm gonna weaken this person's armor. Person? That's ob that is objectionable. Uh, I will harm this thing. And let's see if I can uh, decrease its AP with a kneecap shot. Okay, I did a weak hit, but that's okay. It's got low armor. How much HP did it start with? 100? I'm gonna have Shannon Half Sky run in. Can I heal? Oh, wait, does she even have a healing thing? I'm just basically trying to tank and spank at this point and, like, not get cover. Um, does she have any items? Oh, what the hell are these things? First, I'm gonna use a basic med kit on Bento Box. Not enough AP, what are you talking about? Oh, because I have to be close. I probably have to be within one range. Okay, so instead, I'll try this little summon thing. What do I have? A primeval, which does what? Stun bolt, a stun spell which does minus one AP to the target. I'll do that. Oh, one less AP. Wow, good thing it missed all of them. Can't you do anything right, Pitezel? I mean, it can get whooped is what it can do. Oh, it's gonna increase the accuracy of this... this less threatening presence. Well, you know what they say, more summons... makes for better, uh, adventuring? I don't know who says that, but somebody definitely says that. There's gotta be somebody. So I'm gonna summon this thing. Oh no, I, I'm not close enough. I'll get close enough because I am determined. Uh, well I'm on this ley line, so I might as well flamethrower. Hi, Tezel. 20 damage. That sounds like some good damage to me. And a miss. Alright, I'm out of shotgun bullets, but I think this regular ass assault rifle can do the job. Um, if I stop weak hitting. Jeez. I just did 3x weak hits. Confirm! Alright, I'll have this thing attack. I'll have this golem. Oh, shit. Shannon Half Sky, it looks like you have to do everything yourself. <laughs> She's dominating. M -m 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 Monster kill for Shannon Half Sky. Yeah, this guy knows who to fight. This guy knows who the MVP is. So he's going straight for the harming of my best player. But I'm gonna summon this weird thing. And what can it do? What is it, like a blood golem? Uh, enemies within range of three squares of the spirit are infected from minus five HP. I am gonna confuse somebody. Oh, it costs two AP? Forget it. All right, well, I'm gonna acid stream Dr. Holmes. That had a low chance to hit, and I, like, clicked it before I even... Before I even took a look. at what it would do. Bam. Better lay low, because I'm on a ley line. Haha. <laughs> this is my lay lola form. What? That didn't... wasn't funny. Um... This guy's not too much of a threat. He's just got a bat. Bop. Guess what? Can I kill him this turn? Yes, I can! Wow, it was finally someone besides Shannon Hapsky who did the killing. Um... Oh, does that mean I lost control of it? That sounds bad. Oh, shit. Okay, so I lost control of this monster. Bento Box has very low health. I'm gonna heal myself. <sighs> I 
guess it's only got 20 HP, so that's not a huge deal. I'll worry about that in a second. Damn. Alright, so Firebolt is like finally starting to do some damage. Um, what I'm actually going to do here is reload for one, because this will do reliable more than 10 damage. Wow, that's all I needed to do in the first place. Um, can she heal herself just to be safe? Which is stupid and boring. I will heal myself. Confirm! Uh, I wonder if I can banish spirit. Yeah, I'll do that just to be safe. Oh, wait, I forgot there's still a fucking mage here. That's fine. It's probably still a correct play. Well, now there's nothing. Oh, and I got healed up. That's the Emerald City Ripper. It'd be really funny if he was just like, just kidding, I'm not really the Emerald City Ripper. I staged all those videos for funsies. Holmes drops to the ground, the light in his eyes fading fast, but something keeps the shriveled husk of his soul stuck to this mortal coil for a few moments more. This is a place of broken things. I can remake them. Like that trash golem you summoned? She, she asked me to remake her. To remake her. Everyone's always asking for remakes. Like, they never want new content, you know? Like, oh, Wind Waker remake! Like, like why don't you just play a different game? Or the old one on the old system? I don't know. I was trying to say something funny, it didn't work out. Sorry. He manages one more laugh, his glazed eyes rolling toward a workbench across the way. She was playing both of us. Plus one action point your experience has increased your ability to operate in dangerous situations. Am I pronouncing that right? I've only ever read it. Karma gained eight. Holy shit. Then, with a final bloody whimper, the Emerald City breathes his last breath. Holy shit, I got eight karma. Also, who is he talking about or whatever? But damn, I leveled the fuck up. Uh, well, I'm going to look around. I hope there ain't no more monsters that are going to jump out and eat me. Um, can I get back into this laboratory? No. Well, that looks important, so I'm going to fiddle with it. Holmes' workbench falls somewhere between coroner, slab, and medieval torture device. It is decorated in the many colors of death and littered with the instruments of that trade. To one side, there is a leather-bound journal stuffed with uneven pages. To the other is a poxek, its small screen still glowing. What could that stand for? Pocket... Uh, Prilosec. Beneath the bench is a rolled sheaf of papers held together with a tied length of surgical tubing. Investigate! The bench has clearly played host to numerous bodies over its lifetime, including limb restraints as well as skeletal detraction mechanisms. At this table, Holmes likely dismembers bodies or quite possibly puts them back together. The tackiness of the blood suggests it has been used relatively recently. Skim the journal. Leaving the pages, few intelligible entries, uh, not a real doctor, but his handwriting certainly fits the stereotype law. Stuffed in the last few pages is a copy of the disinterment, disinterment order from a local cemetery with a graves document marked Melinda Watts. Oh, the plot thickens. Pocket secretary, that was it. Holmes is still logged in, granting you access to his currently loaded files. Uh, they're pretty damn loaded. Prominent among them is a hospital report from a donor program. It lists the organs besides the names and vital statistics of the recipients. Your eye catches Sam Watts' name. Shouldn't it be the other way around? Besides the entry for liver. Also on the list are the Ripper's other known victims, along with several others who may have shared in the same fate. There's also a large sum of money. <laughs> Examine the rolled sheet of paper. Unfurling the large sheet of paper, you discover a diagram of the human female form rendered to an impressive level of detail. It appears to be the blueprint for making Holmes' very own monster. Neat. Uh... Uh-oh. What am I finding over here? Oh, gosh. Male Bunraku. Is it a sex robot? Holy shit. His chip slot is still fresh, the open wound pink and wet and lurid. His voice drips in UNO, but his eyes say nobody's home. Oh, well, hello there. Did you come to play? No thanks, I just want to know what's going on. Forget him. I'll tell you anything you want. I'll do anything you want. I'll be your little playmate. By your name? Huh. She 
She's assembled in a standard config. Face of a schoolgirl, body of a stripper. You need some thick beer goggles to miss the work she's had done. What do I do? The puppet stares blankly at you. Oh gosh. Uh, Persona fix chip wiper. That seems like a thing I can use. Use the chip eraser on the bone. Raku. Yeah, yeah, I guess I should do that. His eyes focus and his hand raises slowly to touch his head wound. The fingers come away wet and sticky. Panic twitches at the corners of his mouth as he surveys the room. First you, then the girl, then down to his own body, which is no longer his. Sweet Jesus, what did, what did he do? What am I? He begins weeping, his body racked in great, inconsolable, heaving sobs. Holy shit. Well, get home safe. <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel like there's nothing for me here, so let's just casually saunter out of this place. As you approach the exit, you realize that Shannon lingers quite a few steps behind. Looking back, you see that she is half-turned, looking pensively toward the horror show of Holmes' lab. Finally feeling your eyes on her, she faces you and raises her head in a proud, almost defiant manner. We have done much good here tonight. We have removed two vile creatures from this world, and so ended a growing shadow they cast upon the city. Our paths crossed and joined, and we did this thing together, but now here our paths must divide. You saw what I saw, this isn't over yet. Hate to say it, but the job ain't over, lady. I could sure use your help with what's coming, that's probably the And I'm sure I could use your help with what I must do next. A distant cry of pain echoes down from somewhere above, and the young shaman pauses to listen to the tortured sounds. There's still more work to be done for both of us, but what's... What must be done differs for each of us. I came here to find justice for my brother, and that has been done. His spirit can now find rest. But there are other victims, victims of the Ripper, both alive and dead, who still struggle to be at peace. Many of them are here in this place, filling the halls with their torment. I cannot leave them behind. Uh, spirits have something else in store for you, a different path. You must finish what you've begun. You must confront the first evil that fostered the one we have just ended. Ah, uh, yeah, I can respect that. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Because of you, my brother's killer has met swift justice, and justice of the only sort such a man as Holmes deserved. Death. I will now set to the task of healing those he has left behind. For every madam we faced here tonight, there are a dozen innocent... Madman! I read it as madam. For every madman we face here tonight, there are a dozen innocent souls crying out in need. The spirits of the departed will also need help in passing, or else I fear that they may become like those we met in the hangar. They all deserve my help. What about Lone Star? They can't be far behind. When they enter that room back there, they will have no thoughts other than th thoughts of promotion. With the Ripper in hand, my brother will be forgotten. Along with all the other victims, but so too will I. They will not be a problem. Whether that's true or not, Shannon's confidence and very present seem capable of making it true. Good luck, see ya. Uh, thank you, Shannon. You're about to transition to a new location. I will continue. Wow. Loose ends. The ride back to the seamstress's union is quiet compared to the pandemonium left behind at Mercy Mental Hospital. Lone Star squad cars pass you on the road, sirens blaring. No doubt in response to the aftermath of your showdown with the late Dr. Henry Holmes, the Emerald City Ripper, the men who violently repossessed the internal organs of Sam and Jessica's mother, Melinda Watts. And although the killer is dead and his grip on the city is broken, it's clear he wasn't working alone. There are loose ends aching to be tied. The taxi turns onto Redmond Way, cruising past now familiar landmarks until the Seamstress's Union and all its decadent, seedy glory materializes between swipes of its overworked windshield wipers. Time to evaluate your next move. Well, shit, that's not the end of the game, but uh, I think I'm going to end the episode here because uh, it just seems appropriate. Um, so thank you, everyone, so much for watching. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Um, feel free to like this video. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. Um... If you don't already, feel free to leave a comment. Um, feel free to watch some of my other videos. I don't know. 
But anyway, uh, until next time, this is Karma Jolt signing off. Tell your friends I'm okay. <laughs>